Hi, this is Jennifer Leon from Castle Dreams Travel, and I am on the Oasis of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, and I am here on Deck 11, and I'm going to show you a boardwalk balcony. I'm at room 11715, like I said, on Deck 11. Let me show you. So first, when I walk in, I notice there's a full-length mirror on the right. Now, this is nearly identical to a ocean view, an ocean view balcony on the other side of the ship. So sometimes you can get these for a pretty good deal and still see the ocean out the back, and I'll show you. So here you'll see on the left, some shelves, some extra storage, lots of storage in all the cabins on the Oasis of the Seas. You'll see the air conditioning control is right there when I came in to the right, the master switch. These control the light for the restroom and the lights for the rest of the cabin. Let me quickly show you the back of the door. So you have your muster station information. You also have this magnet, which is, you put this on the other side of the door. Remember, all walls on a ship are magnetic. So this is the, basically the do not disturb sign. So out catching thrills, you put that on the other side. When you flip it over, it says sleeping off the adventure. That's your do not disturb. And that's what you would put on the outside of the cabin if you don't want to be disturbed by your stateroom attendant. You do have a little peephole and you can move this. <laughs> so let me show you the restroom. So we walk in, same exact as the Ocean View balcony bathroom. You have the stall shower. You can accommodate people over six feet tall, believe me, I know this. <laughs> uh, you have body wash that comes with, uh, in the cabin, in the bathroom. You have to bring your own toiletries. Shelf, a couple of hooks if you want to bring a shower caddy to hang your stuff. You have a bar to put your feet on if you're gonna shave your legs. Toilet, plenty of shelving. Under cabinet storage, under here as well. Comes with soap, we actually bring liquid soap. Plenty of towels. These will be refreshed each day, unless you hang them back up. There are hooks on the back of the door. So that is the bathroom. We walk in, here's the cabin, couch. And it actually, this looks like a cabin for four people. And the way that I know this is because the couch doesn't have arms in the end. That's a trundle and that comes out. The stateroom attendant would uh, fix this for you at night if you're gonna have four people in this room, three or four people. Um, I've been in this type of cabin before. So it's just a little bit of a hint that I know that comes out. Here's the closet, plenty of storage in the closet. There's your safe shelves, hangers, laundry. You can have your laundry done. There's actually a pretty good deal. You can fill a bag halfway through, get all your laundry cleaned, and then it will be done before you leave the ship. There's a bar if you wanna make a double rack or put your suitcase on top. Plenty of storage here. Here is the desk with a mirror and a light goes on on the side of the desk, so, or in front of the desk, so you can use it as a makeup mirror. Plenty of storage in here. Outlets. That's where the light is right here. Let me turn that on. Here you go. Television, right now it's showing the safety information, shelving on top of the TV, daily schedule, whatever deals they have going on. This is a cooling refrigerator, not a regular refrigerator, just cools off your beverages, lots of drawers. The beds are separated here. They can be pushed together to make a royal, what they call royal king. And then they would take that table and put it on the side between the couch and, um, and, and uh, the other bed. Let me go out and show you the main <laughs> attraction of having a boardwalk balcony. So the windows do a good job of keeping it quiet. It can get a little bit loud during the day because you're overlooking the boardwalk. But depending on where you are in the boardwalk, this actually is a great view of the aqua show. I mean, I know it's blocked by the slide a little bit, but you can really see it night after night after night. The one thing you'll see is that you can see the cabins across from you. So you just have to keep that in mind. Where the glass is, is the elevators, carousel, playmakers, 
Below me is Johnny Rockets. And actually what we're looking at right there is the back of the ship. So when we're sailing, you will be able to see the water. Like I said, we are on deck 11 up there where the fence is. That's deck 15 where the pool is. But we are almost in the very end. Like I said, aqua show on this ship, amazing. You can't see it, but there's a rock wall on this side and there's a rock wall on this side as well. That purple slide is a dry slide. Lots of fun, not scary. I thought it would be scary, but it isn't. <laughs> so let's just take a look back at the room. It's set up for two people, actually accommodates four. Room or cabin 715 on deck 11, so it's 11, 715. Let me shut this door and you can see the difference or hear the difference that you won't be able to. Much quieter. So once again, this is cabin 11715, boardwalk balcony on the Oasis of the Seas. I'm Jennifer Leon with Castle Dreams Travel. More videos to